Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm talking about a medication many of you may not have heard of before and it's called Vortioxetine. Brand name is called Trintilix. So what is this medication? This medication is an SSRI that also acts on other serotonin receptors. So it's a little bit different than your typical SSRI antidepressant. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it later in the video. Okay, so what's up with this medication? So it was first approved in the United States in 2013. In 2017, it was the 312th most commonly prescribed medication in the US. Okay, so what is this medication for? This medication is used to treat things like major depressive disorder and generalized anxiety disorder, just like other SSRI medications. So what makes this different? What makes Vortioxetine or Trintilix unique or different? Many doctors have found that it acts a little bit differently in the brain, and this is proved in the studies that have been done, increases concentrations of serotonin in the brain by blocking that serotonin reuptake transporter. So I've talked about it before, but blocking that reuptake transporter allows there to be more free-floating serotonin between the presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic neuron. So how, what the chemicals are, the balance in between those two neurons is how you feel. It's that chemical messenger system. So if you have more serotonin, you feel better and you have more energy and you have a higher mood and you're more motivated to do things. So you wanna have that increased serotonin. But what's unique about Vortioxetine or Trintilix is it not only blocks that reuptake transporter, so keeping more serotonin in that synaptic cleft, so it also modulates or activates other serotonin receptors. So what it does is it not only blocks the reuptake of that serotonin, it activates serotonin receptors so it effectively can take the place of serotonin. This kind of is up for debate a little bit in the scientific community whether this actually works like that or not, whether it blocks the reuptake and it activates serotonin receptors. Some doctors find that maybe this one will work better if you haven't found another SSRI that works well. Um, some doctors think that it's just another SSRI that it doesn't work any differently really, and so there's no added effect to it. So studies have been done about its effectiveness and found that it's about as effective as other SSRIs, just meaning that if it works for you, the amount of relief that you can get from Trintilix or Vortioxetine is about the same as you'd get from another SSRI like Prozac or Zoloft or uh, Paxil, one of those. Similarly to those as well, it also takes about two to four weeks until the effects are felt and it can take a couple of months or longer until the full effects of the drug are felt. Okay, so let's talk about side effects. The side effects are pretty much the same as other SSRI like antidepressants with nausea, diarrhea, dry mouth, constipation, vomiting, gas, dizziness, abnormal dreams, itching, decreased sexual desire, and you can also get discontinuation syndrome from this. So that means if you stop the medication suddenly, you can have some withdrawal. You know, sometimes it comes in headaches, sometimes it comes as like brain zappy feelings, but it's something that you can mitigate if you taper off the medication. So that means you slowly lower down the dosage. So your doctor can do this because your doctor knows about the half-life of the medication, how long it takes, how, how much you should cut down the dose each step at a time. So they can help you prevent having a lot of symptoms of the withdrawal. So Trintilix or Vortioxetine is not a medication that I have ever taken before. And so it's not a thing that I have a personal experience about. And in a clinical setting, this is not a medication that I have ever given. I think it's pretty rare and it is fairly new. So, I mean, medications like these take a long time to catch on. In this case, where it's not exactly shown or proven that this is any more effective than other SSRI medications, I can see how it hasn't gained a lot of popularity. But if you have any questions about this medication, comment them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel if you want to hear more, and thanks so much for watching.